Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We here. We live. Who's next? 757 Radio. Southside Yoko. Yeah, it was good. Is in the building. What's going on, my guy? Chilling, man. Listen, listen. We just we just chopped it up off camera. But we about to dive into, you know what I mean? Some things, man. Let's have this conversation. Yeah, let's Welcome. do it, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me, man. Yeah. I'll be watching y'all shit. I just oh, saw, man. uh, what's my boy, uh, from Norfolk. He just did the freestyle up here. Who is it? We Marv got, we got P. Okay, Marv P. Yeah. Okay, yeah. shout out Marv P. Shout out to Marv P. I did a lot of shows with Marv back in the mm. day. But, um, I saw, yeah, I'll be watching y'all shit, man. I was like, I, I hit a rep. I said, man, I got to come up here, bro. Appreciate that. Shout out Kate, too, out A&R, man. Yeah. Y'all need to tap in. Shout out to Kate, dog. Definitely, definitely. Yoko is live in the building. Let's tap in, man. Hamptons native. Yes, sir. Born and raised. King Street. King Street. Yeah. Mm. Right there. Right there. Fox Hill, Phoebus. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, from Hampton, man. How how was uh life growing up in Hampton? It was cool, man. It was cool. It was really what you made it. You know what I mean? It's like, I feel like it's like anywhere else. Like, you got your right. street shit. You got your cool shit. You got your vibe. Whatever you yeah. want to do. You know what I mean? And, and somehow, way or another, you're going to be entwined into all of them. So, mm. you know what I mean? I feel like that was really what Hampton was for me. It was like, just felt like everything in one. You know what I mean? You just mm-hmm. got to pick it, pick what you want to do with your head on straight. You know what I mean? Okay. At VA life. Listen, you was into uh, any sports growing up and stuff like that? You was balling in any yeah, way? Yeah, I'm a certified hooper, man. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Free, my man Free, Twan, y'all know. Okay. You know what I mean? yeah, okay. They know what's going on. Mm. Yeah. You see it. You yeah. see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we here. We here. We live. No, this is good. I like it. I like it. Uh, once again, man, welcome. This is going to be good. Let's let's talk about it because you got a lot going on, man. Your, um, your journey, your career. Yeah. I appreciate it's it. It's amazing. Thank you. It's bro. amazing. And I, um, it's only getting better. It's only growing. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm, I'm working on it, bro. I'm trying, man. I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. So, um, listen, you know, artist, ghostwriter, producer. Yeah. <laughs> no. Come on now. This is what this is this is what the Google is saying, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what they said. That's what they that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh let's let's talk about it. Are you um are you writing songs? You're producing records, things yeah. like that, correct? Yep, definitely. Oh, um, I would I wouldn't call myself a ghostwriter because I get credited, and, and that mm. kind of make the people sound that I'm working with sound like, you know what I mean? Like they falsifying something, but it, it ain't that. I work, I partner with artists. I ain't gonna never mm. say I write for artists. You know what so I mean? So this is good. Taking something away from them is it's not that. It's okay. Just like we work together. I might bring a little bit of influence and. In take the, you know, the music a different way than they might have been thinking. So it's all just, like, relative, you know what I mean? Right, right. This is going to be good because information is definitely needed, like, from the other side. You know, yeah. a lot of people look from the outside. So just giving that information about how the industry or how things may be going. Yeah, nah. Relationships. I mean, we do write whole songs for niggas, but we ain't going to talk yeah, yeah. about it. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> nah, I'm um, just talking shit. Working with major artists, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Growing your brand, are you signed right now? Are you in a yeah, uh, well, I'm situation? In a, I'm in a publishing deal, so like I, I'm not an artist deal. I'm an independent artist deal. Mm. But publishing wise, um, I'm a, I'm a songwriter producer. It's both the same when you sign a publishing deal. But it just, um, yeah, I'm signing a post. Uh, I don't even know what y'all call it. Post <laughs> Incorporated. Okay, you know I mean? out of L.A. Yeah, shout out to them. Listen, um, yeah, shout out to them. Okay, so as far as on track right now, what's what's your uh what's your play? What's your next move this this year? This year, man, I'm I'm really I'm really trying to let the work from last year catch up to like what I'm doing this year. Because mm-hmm. in music, you always gotta be like a year ahead. You know what I mean? So basically, all the shit that I did last year is about to start showing itself this year. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to stay on schedule with that as an artist. So I'm, I'm really focused on like my artist path this year, but those songs that I w- did work on last year, yeah, when they start coming out, I want to line myself up with the people that I work with. You know what I mean? Like trying to cheat the system a little bit. You know what I mean? Break the algorithm. <clears throat> Come on, man. Let's talk about a few records. Let's talk about what that, that Zoom record. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, West Side. Yeah. You know, Mud. 
Yeah, you that, know that's crazy. Come on, we we yeah. got a few things right here in the yeah. notes right now on Southside Yoko. Yeah, yeah. Zoom Zoom is a, a song I put out last year or earlier this year. I don't even I don't even know, but it, man, that's one of my favorite songs. I actually didn't really record that song for myself. Mm. I did it for somebody else, but I really just liked it so much that I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna keep it and put it out." So I shot a video, and um, yeah, I put it out. I, I didn't do no promo or nothing. I just was like, man, I, I just wanted people. To see that I was still an artist again, you know, mm. like so that was like my warm up song. I just put it out. People, people liked it. It was a, it was a different sound for me than people who may have heard me in the past. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Um, but I think it, I think it was good too. Kind of broke the ice. Right, right, right. So I was just about to ask that, like you know, uh, just throughout your journey, throughout your uh, path right now, the feedback from from the supporters, from your people, yeah, um, them seeing your journey, your grind. How has that been? Bro, it's, that shit is amazing, bro. Sometimes it'd be weird, though, because people would be like, you know, oh, big time, and like, you know what I mean? Right, all the yeah, rappers, yeah. what you doing here? I'm like, bro, cut it the fuck out. Like, mm. You know what I mean? Because I'm just, I'm just, hey, bro, I don't feel like I've been nowhere that y'all can't go. Like, it, mm. it ain't there. It Let's ain't talk that about yet. It. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it ain't that. So, uh, but besides that, I feel great, bro. I feel like people will really um, respect what I'm doing. And that's really just what, what I really stand on the most. Cause like, bro, this is my job. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like this is my real career. It just happened to be a passion, but I wouldn't come to your job and be like, ah, oh, the little, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't go to somebody. Oh, you look at a little mechanic, nigga. What you doing <laughs> in here with us? Like, right, you know right. what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, this mm-hmm. is my job, bro. Like, you know, I, I love when people respect it. Just like I respect what they got going on. You know what I mean? Nah, I dig that. I dig yeah, that. But I, I, I'm having great feedback, bro. I like that. I like that. So upcoming, upcoming music, new single, dropping, Fun Girls. Yep. Come on now, let's talk about hey, that. Hey man, this record is, man. I yo, it's crazy because I even I made this beat. I produced this one of my first times popping back out as a producer. It's co-produced by Denuzo. Mm-hmm. Oh, he flipped the drums for me. But we we do know Denuzo. Yeah. We do know Nuzo. Um, we definitely uh. Interacted plenty of times through Who's Next 757. Shout yeah. out to him. He's going crazy as a, a producer. Definitely. That's my little bro, man. He's super successful. I'm so proud of him. Mm. And uh, he he helped me out on this record. And I think it's going to be a club smash. I think it's going to be a TikTok smash. It was, it was, like I said, I didn't really do it for me intentionally. I just, I really made the beat. And I was like, man, this beat so hard. I was going to send it out right then. I did. Somebody called me. I did the beat, and I was like, man, fuck that. I ain't sending it out, because I'm in mm. a different focus right now. I don't want to just give all this shit away. So I was like, I'm going to keep it. I listened to that shit all day, man, for hours, and I, and I finally wrote it. I sent it to Nuzo. He like, nah, the drums got to be different. I was like, all right. I, I was in love with it, so I'm like, all right, whatever. Right. You know, He sent it back. I was like, nah. This is he it. right. That's why he the guy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And um, <clears throat> We shot the video. It's called it's called Fun Girls. I think we're gonna drop that like a week or two after um the song comes out. Okay. Know? Yeah, I was yeah. just gonna ask, man, what's what's the plan for the rollout? Major rollout. Oh boy, bro. I got so I just partnered with this uh distribution company from uh UK called Kicker. And I'm gonna be their first American uh artist that they distributed Big. before. You Big. know what I'm saying? So uh that's part of the rollout. I got this record promoter out of New York named Izzy. He's gonna be pushing the record on all the uh, mix shows and and internet radio and doing all my marketing, and um, I just partnered with this brewery in Newport News called Tradition, and we doing a Fun Girls Hard Seltzer to go with the song. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So we doing the Hard Seltzer, we doing the merch, and um, Tuesday I'm doing a Kickstarter. I just partnered with Kickstarter. It should sound crazy. I keep saying partner, but it's really it. I partnered with Kickstarter, the cr- the crowdfunding uh, website. Okay. And um, I'm one of the first, like, five artists that they work with. And my Kickstarter campaign launch on Tuesday. Just to, just to throw it out there. Yeah. It's going to be clipped up. And we going, you know? Yeah. Me, do that. So me and me and LaRussell. Was, LaRussell just did. Mm. They partnered with him. He the first. He was the first one. Shout out to LaRussell. La yeah. And then mine, mine come out Tuesday. Okay. So we just trying to run everything, you know, side by side to... uh. Trying to make it hot, you know what I mean? I think it's gonna take off though. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely on that right path. Um, listen, let's talk about collaborations you've had, people you work with, and some artists 
that you're looking to work with in the future. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, the song Mud you you just spoke about. Uh, that got um Wop Dad on there. He from the Bay, big artist. Um, Kaz from Dreamville. So that was, I did that for the uh, Rap Shit TV show with Issa Rae. And that was like one of the singles that came out of the show. So those are just the last people that I worked with as an artist. So I'm super mm. excited to work with them. Um, good guys. Fire. Uh, G Perico from L.A. 211 from L.A. That's just like the artist side. Writing wise, man. Everybody, everybody, bro. right? That's where we was going. Bro. Everybody, man. Okay. I work. I work with a lot of people, bro. Um, man, Nle Chopper. That's like my little bro. Uh, DDG. Uh, uh, who else? Uh, Saucy Santana. That's like the homie too. Uh, I got a big record. Um, yeah. working right now, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I got, bro. I got so many songs with that dude, bro. Um. Uh, Got a song called Winning Hundred Bad Bitch, though. That that's the one that's going around. Mm. Um shit, man. I had to look at my phone to really tell you. Uh Lola Brooke, uh Chinese Kitty, uh Polo G. Well, hold on. I, I'm seeing Wayne. something like you 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 did something for like K pop artists in a way. Yeah, yeah. I did an album uh with this this he he, he actually J pop, his name Ricky Moru. He um from Japan. We went number one in Japan. Mm. Yeah, I did three Come songs on. up there. That's that's crazy. Uh, he came to LA, stayed out here for like two, three weeks, and um uh, his whole little his whole uh record company for real came. They took us out. They bought a, the biggest bottle of champagne I ever seen in my life. It was like this big. <laughs> but they cool. They cool people's man. I I can't wait to work with them again. You know what I mean? Right, right. The songs is fire too. He, he he's singing them in English, but he don't really speak English though. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. That was one of the crazy. That was like one of my favorite musical experiences though. Hearing that, yeah, and seeing that, seeing, that. seeing that, yeah, for real, for real, it's the after effects of it all. Like going to YouTube and watching the video of a song that I wrote, and all of these Japanese is millions. You know what I mean? The hundred thousand Japanese people they phone out singing the song. I'm like, damn, I was pro You know what mm. I mean? Like. Shit crazy. That's what that was. That I still look at those moments on YouTube and be like, "Damn, I really did something." Because sometimes you 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 know you get so caught up in what you're doing, you might not realize the impact that you be. Mm, you know what I mean? Or you definitely, bro. So I I don't really feel like that a lot. But when I see all them Japanese faces singing songs that I was, I wrote, I was like, "Oh no, nah, this is different." You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So um, listen. When you look back, I mean. Just to piggyback off of that, for real, for real, like when you look back at everything you've done, and just like you said, being from Hampton, um, what what it, what does it feel like for you, bro? I'm gonna be honest. I don't feel like it. Feel like it's just starting. You know what I mean? It don't feel like it don't feel like success yet. It feel like the pro it feel like I'm still in the process. And I, I like that feeling because it keep it, it, it's still I still got that fire, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm still in the trap for real. Like I still feel like a hustler. I still feel like I got a million dollars to make. I do, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I feel like it ain't. I ain't even. I, but I feel like a rookie still because I know it's people. I know people who got twenty platinum plaques, ten gold. You know what I'm saying? They get thirty, forty placements a year. So when I be looking at my little five or ten piece, you know, you probably accomplishments and shit, but like, bro, it's some real hitters out here. It's some real people that's really mm -hmm. them guys. And you know? got a long, got a long way to go. Long way to go. Yeah. So I be, I, it's the most humbling place you could ever be at when you walk in a room and you the most, you might be the most talented to yourself or what what you do or in your area. In your area, and then you walk in and it's like. The nigga that's a real superstar already, bona fide superstar, and then you got the nigga that wrote most of this nigga's songs. So it's like, nigga, you really ain't, you really is a little nigga in the room. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you gotta embrace those moments. Too. Yeah, and you gotta learn, and you gotta also realize you're supposed to be here, or you wouldn't be in this room, mm -hmm. right? And then the, the nigga with all the hits, that wrote all the hits, produced all the hits, 
he looking at you like, what you got, my boy? I heard a lot about you. I know mm. you got it. Then you do it, and nigga like, yeah, you next, you got it. You now, you know what I'm saying? So like, bro, that shit feel crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That was that was major right there. That Word, was bro, that's a real shit, bro. That is, that is. And then you be walking, you walk in, talking to people, and you don't know who who. Then by the time people leave, somebody might. And our might come back in there. Oh, did you know? Did you meet what's the name? Like, nah, yeah, I met him. I ain't, you know. Oh, that's the owner of fucking Red Bull. You like what the fuck? It's you all, know what I'm saying? It's being in them rooms and it's networking, man. And it just happens like that. Yeah. And that's how it is. And just like you said, like if you in them rooms, you supposed to be in them rooms. Yeah, that that's what I keep in my mind because mm. I still get nervous. You know what I'm saying? Like, I sometimes I like if, I, if it's just me, the producer. I'm going to come in here and do my job, right? It's mm-hmm. feel like work. I'm going to come in here and work. But they be like, yo, sweetie sweetie here, she want to work with you. You got the producer in there. I go in there. I'm like a little like, this, yeah. this, she, you know what I mean? She she beautiful, I gotta, I gotta dog. Perform. It's hard to look I gotta at perform. her yeah. and, and focus and, and still be impressive and still be, you know what I'm saying, like sociable. Because sometimes I get in my head where I don't really want to even talk. I just want to do what I, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but when the artist in the room, you got to be yourself first. They might not even fuck with you. Mm. Like, nah, nah, bro, I don't even want to hear his shit because he, he ain't my type of, his energy ain't right or something. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, so you got to be you first. You got to sell yourself. And then, what you got? We want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, this shit get tricky sometimes, man. I, I, I enjoy it a lot, though, bro. I like that. I enjoy it. So that's why I don't feel like I'm nowhere because there's people out there that's really them guys, bro. Okay. Go in the studio with Teddy Riley right now. Anybody in here. Niggas make it. Niggas probably got, I got, you know what I mean, 20 beats. So I'm like, these bangers. You go in the studio with Teddy Riley, you're going to be like, oh, shit. This the GOAT, my boy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. And that that shit don't keep you humble, bro. I don't know what can you know what I mean. Right. Yeah, for sure. Listen, June twenty first, Funny Girls. Yeah. Dropping on all platforms live. It's Hell going yeah. down. I'm excited, bro. I'm gonna play y'all the video after this. You know what I mean? I'm gonna play y'all two songs. I got two songs. I, I'm really happy about right now. Listen, we got some speakers in here too. We gonna yeah. we gonna bump that. Yeah. Hell yeah. We gonna bump that. Listen, you heard it here live. Who's next? 757. It's your boy Cam Lowe. Southside Yoko is here. It's going down. Listen, any um anything I miss? Any updates you wanna uh let them know real quick or nah, I mean shit, we pretty much went through it. Yeah, what? yeah. Yeah, I mean, shout out to my team, man. Chuck. Yes. My 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 homegirl Nay, Mike T, Free, you know what I mean? They're my guys. They they holding it down, pushing, pushing me, pushing me. Um yeah, bro, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. Got a lot of shit. Some things I'm gonna tell. I'll tell you more about when we. Get, you know what I mean? But yeah, bro. You see you. it. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Yeah, hell yeah. Thank you for coming out. Shit is dope. I might get a little freestyle or something, man. Uh oh, exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> exclusive. Nah, thanks, man. Thank you, though, bro. Nah, for sure, for sure. You heard it here live. It's going down.